Capricorn, thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment this reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity, what messages do you have for a sign of Capricorn? Please and thank you. Messages for a sign of Capricorn. Okay, so you guys have justice in reverse. So you may have felt like you were treated unfairly in a particular situation. Uh, the challenge is the Empress situation. So either it's a situation that you don't plan on um, putting any further effort towards. As I'm getting, the, the Empress energy talks about loving and nurturing something so that it will grow. But with it being a challenge, you're struggling to do that in a particular situation or someone hasn't been doing that to you. Some of y'all could also have an issue with a parent and some siblings here, especially a mother figure um, where you feel like you weren't treated right by your mother um, and your siblings, especially if you have like a mother and sisters, a mother and sisters. Um, you could be like the black sheep, but I'm definitely getting that, yeah, you were not treated just, just, <laughs> you weren't treated fairly by some people here. Your advice is the judgment and the three of wands in reverse. Your advice being the judgment here is not because I'm getting some of y'all are really upset in regards to a particular situation and you are ready to see. I'm, I'm getting like some of y'all in this energy of like if you were to see someone on fire, you wouldn't even spit on them. Like you cannot stand somebody or some people here. I'm getting that because I definitely get that they're about to face some strong karma here. Like the time is approaching for whoever this person is or these people are. I'm definitely getting like a particular person for them to face some sort of karma. But I'm also getting like for you to be mindful of like the things you say in regards to these people or this situation. Because I, even though you have every right to feel the way that you do, I'm definitely getting that you have a big heart, you have good intentions, and it's going to do something to you, not in a good way, for you to just like lash out, um, even if you're not saying it to these people or if you're not directing it towards these people. But it's still, it's like, you're not that type of person to be like, yeah, I said this, I'm good with it. I, whoever you are, you're not that type of person. And even like seeing these people, once you find out about some people like having to go through karma, having to deal with something, and you know that it's because of what they did to you and some things that they've done to others that you're not aware of. Some of y'all, you will end up feeling sorry for these people. And you don't want to be like, dang, I said this and now they're going through this or that, you know? So they want you to be mindful of that. And that's really just really protecting yourself and your own energy. But because you may feel like I, I wouldn't care at this point, but when that time comes, what they're about to go through, you will feel sorry for these people. You will feel, you will end up feeling sorry. You may have been like, I, I hope they ass end up this or that. And when they ass end up this or that, you're going to be like, damn. And not in a good way. I don't see like you um, rejoicing over someone going through something. I, it's going to be a situation where you are like, dang, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy, even though they were your worst enemy. 
as I'm definitely seeing a situation where you are dealing with some people like straight up fucking with you. Your outcome is the three of cups. And let me see. I'm let me get the overall energy. Six of Pentacles. Um, you will have someone being very generous towards you. It, it doesn't even have to be one person. You could have several people just being very generous towards you, having several people wanting to be there for you, wanting to uh, offer you support. Um, uh, this is the overall energy. So even though you may have dealt with a lot of uh, negative energy or negative energy from someone in particular that just may left you feeling really bitter about a situation, something's going to make you really happy and it's coming from people being generous and kind towards you. You know, um, Capricorn, to be honest, whoever, you guys may see someone like switch up Someone who was being like really evil towards you. Someone who could have been like trying to talk bad about you to several people, trying to destroy your reputation, gossiping about you. I'm not sure exactly what this person did to you, but it definitely was not right. And they're on the wrong end of karma. They def it, it doesn't matter that this person decides, oh, I'm going to do right by Capricorn so that um, I don't have to, because I'm getting that despite how this person acts, they are aware of universal laws. You will actually be surprised. And I'm getting that this person may have been trying to impress some other people. And they're real, I'm getting that they're beginning to face some karma of what they did to you. They're beginning to realize that, uh oh, it's time to pay the piper. So they're now trying to strategize like how to turn this situation around. And they're thinking that, okay, since this karma came about for me doing wrong to Capricorn, maybe if I do right by Capricorn, then this situation will switch around because they're afraid of something here. It looks like something that they're about to answer for they don't want to go through it. They they see something major about to hit them and they don't want to go through it. They are not oblivious to uh what's about to hit them. They they're I don't know like what exactly it is, but this person is afraid of what's about to come because I'm getting that they're I if they're not receiving dreams, they're getting some sort of evidence of this karma about to play out in their life. But the messed up part, Capricorn, is that they had the opportunity to either apologize to you to make this situ uh, situation right for some time now, and they didn't. Every opportunity that they had, they, they continue to feed into this um, energy of trying to tear you down. Because with the nine of wands in reverse, and then you got the two of wands here and the three of uh, cups, Capricorn, despite what you think, you have a lot of people who think very highly of you. You have a lot of people who say they enjoy being around you. There are a lot of people who just, they, they talk very highly of you. They speak very highly of you. People say that they enjoy being around you. You're fun to be around. It's people that want to like, especially like, say these are some co-workers here. It's some people that are like, they want to uh, get to know you on a personal level. They just enjoy being around you. You're a fun person. You're very uh, positive. You have like good energy. It's people who truly enjoy being around you. And some of you guys may feel like this person completely destroys your reputation to the point where you, you didn't even have the opportunity for to give people the chance to get to know you. But with the two of wands, this person, someone is aware of what this person has been doing to you. 
and it looks like a lot of people a lot of people may be aware of something that someone has been saying or doing towards you but they just go about their life like they they are not aware of what's going on they may feel like okay it's not that big of a situation they're just poking fun at each other and i'm not going to get involved in this situation but i'm gonna tell you what capricorn not everyone looks at that situation whatever is going on not everyone looks at this situation the same because there's someone here that does not like what they found out someone sees what this person is doing and they don't like what they see they take it very serious they're taking this situation very serious capricorn and as you may feel like you're on your own in a particular situation, but it is someone who they're not letting anyone know that they're assessing this situation, that they have gotten involved in this situation. But it's some people who are, um, it looks like it's some people who came forward and said they don't like what's going on in a particular situation. I'm getting someone really being harassed by someone. Like, and it's, it's, it may have been going on for some time now, but it's a situation where someone is just like, they've had enough. Um, even though like you are, you remain optimistic, you still are um, doing your best to enjoy your time with other people. Some of y'all, it could be a family member. And it's like, even though like you're trying to just enjoy the company of your family or friends, whatever situation it is, it's, it's still, it's like you have to be on guard because you know what this person has been saying to other people. You don't know who else is involved in a particular situation. So it makes you really uncomfortable. But you're not the only person. Uh, you're not alone in this situation. There is someone who God has placed on this person's heart to get involved in this situation. It's someone who has felt the urge to speak up or to look into this situation some more because something isn't right someone is saying like something is not right i don't like what i'm hearing or what's going on it's not okay and this is about to come to a head because the person who's doing this to you this person this is this is the energy that pisses me off because this person is saying okay maybe if i start doing right by capricorn all of this was just clear away because this person is really saying okay i've had my fun i'm just gonna leave it at that now you know it, it's starting to get really serious i didn't mean for it to i didn't mean for it to go this way but yes they did really what they're saying is that they thought that they were going to get away with harassing you um really they thought they were going to get away with this stuff. And now that the table, the tables are turning and people are beginning to look at this person in a, in a manner that they don't like. Now this person wants to flip the script and play victim, but they're not going to be able to do that because it's too much evidence that has piled up against this person. And on top of it, the people who are getting involved in this situation, the divine has literally placed it in their heart to get involved in this situation. They don't understand why they're getting involved in this situation. They don't understand why they feel so connected to this situation. But the reason why they feel so connected and they feel like they, they are obligated to do something is because the divine has put it within their heart to do so.
Okay. <laughs> so for my Capricorns who are in a relationship uh, already, some of y'all could be dating outside your race or someone of a different religion or is there's, there could be some sort of significant difference between you and someone else. But another message that I'm getting is that the person that you're with is saying that you are amazing in the bedroom. You are amazing. Um, and like this, it the fact that they have experienced things with you in the bedroom that they've never experienced with anyone else has like caused this person to somewhat be like obsessed with this connection when it comes to you. Um, like they are literally, they literally are just like amazed with your bedroom skills. So this, I, I definitely see the connection between you and this person is a lot of fun. And this person, I, I don't know if you question whether this person is as into you as they are, but someone is just like insanely attracted to you. Uh, and they are obsessed with the relationship that they have with you. I definitely see like um, another thing that this person appreciates about you is like your cleanliness, um, how you take care of yourself. They 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 love like your self respect. They love that you take care of yourself, that you honor yourself. Um, they really respect that about you. I definitely see you and this person being together for some time quite possibly growing old with this person, but I'm not going to take it that far, but I definitely see that this is a nice relationship that you have with this person. Oh, and just as I take that up, this is your true love. So they want to confirm that. I'll leave it at that. Let's go ahead and see for my Capricorn who are in separation from their person. Capricorns who are in separation from their person. Um, so whoever you're in separation from Capricorn, this person is in the process of trying to regain like their financial stability. This person is like trying to repair their credit. So they don't feel like they can be in a relationship at this time. Uh, right now, this person is just trying to balance things out, especially regarding their finances, but things in their life just in general. And they just don't feel like they can um, commit themselves to anyone at this time until they get their finances and their life in order. So it's not that they don't think about you, that they don't care about you, but they feel like they, they're they not the type of person to be in a relationship and they don't have their stuff in order or their life in order. So for my single uh, Scorpios, I'm getting that you guys are still obsessing over a past connection or did I say Scorpio? Some of y'all could have been dealing with a Scorpio, but um, yeah, I mean, it's all just, uh, this is one of my favorite decks is I always feel like it's on point, but for my single uh, Capricorns, it looks like you're still in the process of healing from a previous connection. Someone that you still find yourself obsessing over from time to time. But what they're guiding you to is to accept the ending that took place between the two of you. Because I'm not getting that you have fully released this person. But that's what they're wanting you to do. Because it looks like this the, the attachment that you have to this connection is creating a blockage when it comes to new love coming into your life. So right now, just focus on your healing and releasing this connection with love, not trying to find like a reason to hate this person so as you can let them go, but release releasing this person with love.
Okay. So whoever you're crushing on, Capricorn, your soul remembers this person. I'm getting that either you or this person comes across like you're not interested. You're really being guided to take things slow with this person. But what I want to see is because why are you guys coming across like you're not interested in one another? So some of you guys could, okay. So there's this unexplainable connection, this unexplainable bond between you and this person where both of you feel magnetically drawn towards one another. But um, neither one of you are giving off any sort of clue or hint that you're interested in the other person, but you're both crushing on one another. And you're both being very cautious because neither, neither one of you want to be hurt. Support. Why strictly rejection? You know, I, I don't see whoever you're crushing on. It's a reason why this connection is just like not progressing the way you would like it to. And part of the issue, I'm getting like one thing that's going to be a turn off when it comes to this uh, relationship with this person is that it seems like you can't have a decent conversation with this person. It seems like every time that you're talking to this person, they're bringing up sex. Like they're making sexual um, comments towards you. And it's going to be a turn off to you because I'm getting that you're looking for someone that you can have good conversations with, um, that the relationship is not based off of sex, but someone that you feel like you can, someone that you feel like they will be your best friend, you know, not just a sex partner. You don't, you realize the difference. That's part of the lesson that you've mastered is that you realize the difference between love and lust. So you're very conscious about that when it comes to entertaining any sort of relationship. Um, why time apart? Why is time apart here? I knew it. <clears throat> now, this is the new love spread. And I intentionally did the new love spread because I didn't want previous energy coming through. But... Someone here from your past is definitely coming through as new love. So it's letting me know that some of you guys are definitely about to reconnect with a past person. Um, this is someone that you spent some time apart from. There has been obstacles in this relationship because someone hurt the other person and both of you feel hurt by one another. And I'm getting like uh, you struggle with trust issues when it comes to this person and they struggle with trust issues when it comes to you. Because neither one, neither one of you feel comfortable being vulnerable with the other. And that's going to be a major issue because I, even though... Even though I'm getting that there are issues in this connection, you both are drawn towards uh, each other. You both are looking forward to reconciling. I, I definitely see like the two of you working things out. Um, but the one thing or the some of the things that you guys are going to have to work through is your trust and being vulnerable with one another. But the first thing is trust, because if you can't trust each other, then how are you going to be vulnerable with one another? So I definitely see you giving someone from the past a second chance and quite possibly the two of you uh, becoming engaged quicker than you're expecting. Having a lot of fun as well. So be 
Because I'm seeing like some of y'all reconnecting with someone from the past. And when you reconnect, you guys will be so excited uh, with being around each other again. That you guys like start going on vacations and trips with one another. You're spending so much time with one another. And you're just really having a blast with one another. And before you realize it, you guys will find yourself looking at each other and saying like, hey, we can do this for the rest of our lives. So some of y'all will reconnect with someone and you guys both may have grown so much during this time apart that you, you're, you are more comfortable with being vulnerable with people. Like the way you look at relationships and situations now is completely different than the way you used to view relationships and situations in the past which is now allowing you it's it's maturity that's allowing you to be vulnerable so that's who you can actually enjoy being with one another as i am getting that you guys are a good match you guys just met when you were young and really immature oh, i got this upside down <clears throat> Learning to be flexible and to go with the flow, to set like that. You may have thought that there was going to be a particular outcome. You got soulmates here. You may have had like your mind, your heart set on a particular outcome, but even though it may be with a particular person, but it may not play out the way you were expecting. Um, the obstacle is community. So the people who are involved in this situation seems to be interfering with this relationship in a negative way. Some of you guys could have met this person at work or you guys could have met through friends or it's, it's like the people who are not in this relationship, but in one way or the other, they're involved in this relationship are, interfe are interfering in this relationship. You could also have some people intervening uh, in this relationship to help bring you two together. Now you have this change in gifts I definitely get that this whoever you're about to find yourself in a relationship with is very generous, but you're the type of person you struggle with accepting things from people. So if someone's being generous and they're just gifting you, you can't just accept gifts. You're the type of person you have to like give them a gift back. You got to figure out something that they like that you can give back to them. You re really struggle with just receiving. Um, but this person is going to like help teach you to just receive because they are a very generous lover. And what they love about you is that they know you're not trying to take advantage of them, which allows them to feel uh, safe. And it also allows them to, um, it allows them to feel safe enough to gift you even more than what they already are. You're about to, they want you to embrace this happy time in your life because some of y'all have really just been through it to the point where it's hard for you to just accept being happy. You feel like you have to uh, prepare for the worst when you're really happy. Because it seems like every time you were extremely happy when you were younger or just in the past in general, it wasn't uh, too much longer before something terrible happened. So I'm definitely getting that. You may struggle with just embracing this happy time, but they want you to do so because I'm definitely getting like you have good times ahead. Things are definitely improving and you don't have to stay on guard. This relationship will go the distance. You definitely have a soulmate and whoever this person is, is definitely going to help you um, get on your feet because some of y'all are struggling out here on your own. And you have this person coming in. You got here and now. Some of y'all already know this person in the face. This is a destined connection. So I definitely see a beautiful connection coming in for someone that's going to end up going the distance. So you don't have to sit up here and prepare for the worst. This is things are actually improving in your life for the better, not for the moment. So I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates. But with that being said, you all take care.